How you doing guys? Back for another beer review. Um, went to the NSLC today after a very hard shift at work and uh, found out that uh, Ontario sort of made a little mini invasion of the NSLC this week. A uh, bunch of different products from Ontario uh, now available. Um, some, some stuff I've had before but uh, we got Muskoka's uh, Mad Tom IPA in six packs. Uh, we have this now, the Mill Street Vanilla Porter in cans. We did not have that previously. Um, let's see what else. Uh, there's a mix pack from Mill Street, their winter mix pack. Uh, there's a mix pack that's not an Ontario thing, but we have a mix pack from um, Okanagan Spring in BC. Some sort of. Uh, Mix pack from them. Uh, biggest surprise was uh, Muskoka's Winter Beard, uh, double chocolate imperial stout. I guess it is with cranberries. Uh, yeah, fifteen, sixteen dollars a fucking bottle, seven hundred and fifty milliliter bottle. But um, I had the money, so I decided to treat myself and get one for the old man as well. Um, but yeah, what we're going to be looking at right now is one of the other new products that just came in. And this is from Lake of Bays Brewing Company, who are out of Baysville, Ontario. At 5% alcohol by volume, it's their Crosswind Pale Ale. Got a biplane on there. Crafted with precision, this pale ale delivers surprising depth for its lightness. Fresh citrus, no, blah, 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 I don't need to know that. Water, malted barley, and hops. Alright. Sounds like a pale ale. And I got no fingernails. Excuse me. There we go. Breaking out the old fancy wine glass. Doing it Zach Avery style. All right. Wow. She's definitely a little bit. She's pretty much very light copper in color. Little. Uh, little uh, streaks of honey, golden honey kind of thing where you put the light up to it. Very pretty. Looks definitely looks like pale ale IPA, you know, one of those things. Looks very pale on the on my actual monitor here while I'm recording this. Yeah, looks uh, somewhere between a slightly darker darker macro lager and a pale ale, so uh or to the aroma here. Brady caramel malt, maybe a little bit of grassiness. A little bit of a lemon citrus kind of vibe coming out of there, definitely probably from the hops. That malt base is a nice little mild sweetness. Mm, smells nice. Not too bad. So we'll go right to the taste. Cheers, guys. Good maltiness to it. I mean, it's fairly light bodied, um, you know, upper light body to it, I guess. Uh, nice toasted bready malt character to it, almost. I think that's more the hops giving off that sort of bitterness where you'd maybe associate that with, with toast, but it does have a very nice bready malt character, a little bit of, um, Again, a very slight lemony citrus in the finish as well. It was mostly kind of an earthy finish. Mm. 
very drinkable very very drinkable this would be you know sort of the thing I would if, if I ran a brewery this would be sort of the thing maybe I'd have as my standard go-to beer I mean, which is what this probably is I imagine from Lake of Bays um, because usually if we get anything from a brewery from another province it's their standard of their lineup you know yeah there's no there's nothing bad about it um nothing exciting about it it's a very boring beer um but it's good for what it is i could see myself eating fish and chips with this no problem any other sort of pub food um it works very well i think would work very well in that sort of setting um very approachable very accessible sort of craft beer maybe it's crafty i don't know the rhino could probably fill me in a much better on on that or, or gee could um but uh as it stands crosswind pale ale from lake of bays uh, it's, it's decent. I'm going to go 3, 2, 5 out of 5, I think. It's, it's decent, but it's nothing exciting. You can find a lot better pale ales out there, but, um, if you're looking for something, you know, especially if you live in Ontario and you're just trying out craft beers, this is a good one to jump into. Get yourself started. Alright guys, be good. See you later.